with y'all, but I'm happy as fuck today. It's super nice out. I'm just like living in the moment, in the present. I'm just so happy and grateful. So I don't know. Some of you guys are feeling these ways these days, okay? But let's go ahead and get these messages popping. Okay, messages, please, for Libra. I'm just getting like a... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I feel like some of you guys may be happy. I don't know that we do see some four of cups and the moon energy, but you know, this could be the your opposite, the Aries energy that we were talking about. I just kind of feel like you guys maybe haven't like being might be in like a ten of wands reversed energy where you're letting the burdens go. Yeah, I talked about. I just said the Aries energy. Here's the Emperor. Look at the moon. Look at the moon. Look at the moon. Look at the moon. Yeah. So I don't know. I feel like yeah. I feel like the Emperor over here is feeling some type of way. Yeah. 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 Oh no. You know, oh no, oh damn, Gina, stop. <laughs> so you kill somebody with kindness, that's what I was getting in Aries reading here, and it was like somebody kind of wanted you to be mad, but like, well, who wants to be mad? Like, why be mad? Like, so I feel like you dropped a bird in Ten of Wands energy, and um, you just feel lighter, you feel happy. I feel like, you know, if you don't have another person or you don't have a person, I don't know if you're dealing with a person and they're mad that you're not mad or this is just in general, you know, you're just, you just feel good, man. It's like you're loving on you. If there's a non-existent person, Ace of Wands energy, look, you're loving on you, Ace of Wands, or you could be attracting in a new person. Look, Four of Wands and the Moon card. Moon is coming right back out. And so there's something hiding in the depths. We have the Page of Pentacles here, which could be an offer uh, on this Ace of Wands energy, you know, to activate it. Somebody wants to activate it, okay? Yeah, especially with the Magician, they want to activate it. Yeah, the Three of Cups is reversed here as well. I don't know. Page of Cups is reversed. Six of Swords. Here's a little Two of Cups. I don't know. I feel like some of you may have... Let me just double check on this T because... <laughs> My bad, I was smelling it burning, and I'm like, is that the tea? <laughs> Only to realize I didn't have the tea on the right burner, so it was burning, but not the tea. Anyway, uh, looks like there's a vulture coming through. Yeah, I don't know. I got the rebirth card um, earlier. Excuse me. I'm just, the, your energy just feels so, I don't know, like happy, and I don't know. Um... So we do have the Ace of Wands, you have the Lovers, and the Four of Wands, and to me, this is how it should be. You, you, there's a ring here. I don't know if some of you guys have been seeing like, um, or thinking about rings for that matter. Or That's funny because I was eating breakfast, and I literally was like thinking about like out of nowhere y'all seeing me with a ring on my finger, and like just like it's funny because it's like, what? When did you get married? Oh my God. Da -da 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 -da. So I feel like something may be coming in quick or something's about to happen here. Like... <laughs> It's like we gonna somebody gonna wake up tomorrow with a ring on their finger, and you're gonna be like, "What? What? 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 Like, when did this happen?" I don't know. This could also be like an elope type of vibe here. So what's the Ace of Wands with the Lovers? Yeah, I don't know. It feels that way. We have the World card reversed, so something ain't over. Oh, it ain't over. Gotta be okay. Gotta be dealing with your Aries energy. Look, I'm trying to tell you, you gotta be dealing with your Aries energy. <laughs> you gotta be. Seven of Pentacles reverse with the Fool card. Nine of Wands reverse. It just feels like somebody, I don't know, doesn't necessarily, I don't know. I don't want to say, I just don't think they're they're going to let you go, even though it may f seem that way right now. Like I, like, I feel like somebody is really trying to be in some emperor energy, but they're not. I just, honestly, y'all know I'm not the type to be like, hold on, just hold on a little. I'm not the type to be like that, you know? I'm like, move the fuck on. Move the fuck on. But it don't feel like that. I feel like somebody's trying to get themselves together. 
All right, they, they still hurt here. They trying to get themselves together. But like, you killing somebody with kindness. Yeah. It's not over. It's not over. I'm trying to tell you, you got the Six of Pentacles here. Yeah, and I was just actually having an imagination over there in my room. It's before I was getting ready for this as well. Like somebody being mad and you're like, what's wrong? Mm, well, you know, the, you know, the, like, it's kind of like somebody is like catering to someone's madness. Like, but it's like in a cute way, like somebody's mad as shit, but you're just like, you know, kissing on them and like, what's wrong? What's wrong? <laughs> Why are you being like that? Let me, um, you know, I don't know. The sexual energy kicks in, right? You know, trying to distract them, I guess. Or trying to, you know. It's one of those energies. And then, you know, life is short. You know, there's nothing in the world that's worth being all mad over like like that, you know. So I'm kind of getting that energy for y'all. Uh, the death card wants to come out. But for some reason, I don't want to take it out. But I'll just put it over here. Um, there got to be something with the tea and the burner. Like I had the bur the front burner on blast and I smelled like it was burning, but it, the tea wasn't on it. It was on the wrong. I put it on the wrong. It, you get, like, you know, I think I hope y'all know what I'm talking about. So then I had to double check. I think there's something about double checking. So I don't know if somebody's like burning, simmering, heat, like blazing, heating up, mad as shit, emperor energy. Oh, I'm back to cursing. Interesting. I got to tone that back down. And then it's just kind of like, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see what the world card is for you, Libra. I don't know. Your energy just feels like giddy. Because um, it just, you know, it just feels giddy. It kind of reminds me of like the notebook. Whose reading was it where I was getting somebody was fake mad, fake hurt, don't, to justify why they don't want to be vulnerable. And this energy feels like I'm feeling that fake mad, fake hurt. But it's almost like somebody really wants you to baby them for real like they're mad but they want you to like baby them um do we know what a leo because i was getting still angry in there i was getting a clock and avoidant energy uh they're losing everything karma and then i was getting cancer energy they're choosing to stay in their comfort zone with their karmic setting their ways could be dealing with a Gemini here because I don't see no communication. So, I mean, you could be dealing with any of the signs. You know me. I, I, I don't, you know, discriminate. I think everything is everything. It all plays a role. But let's see, Libra. Your energy just feels like you still mad, baby. Like, look, Ace of Cups. <laughs> you still mad, baby. Like, you mad at me. Let me suck you dick. <laughs> Uh, let me bounce on the dick, okay? We have the Seven of Swords with the Two of Cups here. So it's just like somebody wants to continue to act like... Like, this ain't no two... This is a lover situation, but it's like somebody's hurt over the lover situation. Y'all have a situation, y'all connection, basically. Like, somebody is still, you know, you know, they, they still trying to hide the emotions behind the scenes. But it's like, you know this already. Like, you already, it's lover's energy. You know what is wrong with this person. Like, you know, you, this motherfucker. <laughs> somebody wants you to kiss ass, Emperor Style. <laughs> somebody wants you to kiss ass but they love you they love you they just want you to bow down and kiss ass like <laughs> it's so i don't know why it's funny to me i'm sorry y'all y'all probably really going through the trenches right now hurting why aren't they loving me why aren't they coming back but to me this energy just feels funny it feels funny like, I don't know if y'all been watching the other readings, but it was like, you know, some it's like you you put your shield down in the fight. And it's like, how are your king going to sit there and try to obliterate you? And they don't want to do that. They want you to put up a fight so that they can keep trying to fight, but they don't want to fight. They want to, yeah, I'm t like, this is somebody that, <laughs> I don't know, man. I feel like you clearly have someone's heart. And they mad about it. Like they at this point, they're not even fighting you because you you release you release you you put down your weapons, right? So they're really fighting their emotion at this point.
going. It's like you. It's like a process of elimination type of vibe. It's like all right, they. You know how people hold on to madness to like feel like they got some power and feel strong and to justify prolonging something and being mad. Well, if one person releases the madness or drops the shield or you know I don't want to fight no more. At this point, they're not fighting you. At this point, they're fighting themselves, right? That's what's happening right now. Somebody's fighting themselves because you took yourself out the way. Like, you know what? I'm, I can't fight who, I can't fight you because that's like fighting myself. So it's like somebody is like, they're gonna lose. They're gonna lose and uh, you just let them go through what they gotta go through right now. And just enjoy your day. Like, they're not, they're gonna lose and they don't wanna lose you. So it's just like, they're gonna, I don't know, you gotta wait for the transits. You gotta let go and let, let God. I'm trying to tell you, this is what's happening. Um, I'm very confident in this here. This is not about playing mind games. This is not about any of these things. You gotta let a motherfucker get through whatever, what they got going through. Like, just like you had to take some time to go through what you were going through with this person, you gotta let them do the same. Because you are, some of you are just now dropping the guard, right? So how long did you keep that guard up? How long was you fighting? Right? And you're just now ready to drop the guards, or you probably already did. Well, they may not be ready almost yet, you know? And you got to let them get through what they're getting through. They're not going nowhere. World card reverse, they're not ace of, ace of cups, uh, ace of wands. They're still trying to... They're still trying to hold on to, oh, I don't, like, they, 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 behind the scenes is Ace of Cups, <laughs> World Car Reverse, like, this is not someone who, no, you're not going anywhere, man, like, y'all not, it's, this is lover's energy, it's like somebody wants you to believe, like, so maybe all the other stuff we were picking up on, I don't know. I know, but I don't know how else to explain it because it's like, this is one of those energies where like, if you really know your person, like, and it's not even about, oh, you be back. Uh, you, you it's, This is not that type. It's not an arrogant type of vibe here. It's just more of, it's just like you were fighting them. Y'all fighting each other. It's lover's energy. So it's, you're, you're fighting your, yourself. <laughs> It's like you're fighting, they're like loving them, really. Like, because there's a fine line between love and hate, right? Like, you finally release some of that hate or all of it, right? Because hate is really love. They're still, they want to be mad because it's, but it's like they're weak for you. Yeah, King of Swords, World Card Reverse. I'm trying to tell you, like, <laughs> They're trying to still be detached, King of Swords energy. Like they, they're not like Queen of Wands reverse with the Seven of Cups reverse. So I feel like this is y'all, especially this Queen of Wands was coming out someone else's reading. But I just feel like you're not, you're not fighting this illusion, or you're not fighting like this. It's honestly spiritual warfare with this person. Like you're not, you, you bow down in a way, right? And bowing down is just simply, I apologize or simply letting it go, you know, waving the white flag or just, I'm not mad anymore. You know, I'm sorry, whether you accept it or not, I'm sorry, you know, I'm moving on. I'm not here to control you. Like, do you boo boo? Like, I'm not, I'm not in war mode no more. I'm not about to be held up prison. Like, This is not about weakness. This is not, it's, honestly, this is showing more strength in you. Because it just, it's, it's uh, this is like a very mature type of vibe going on here. Like this is, there's more maturity in being able to say sorry or being vulnerable than, you know, it's, it, there's more strength in vulnerability. It's, you know, how we say men who can wear pink, you know, and they're confident in themselves and things like that. Like that doesn't, you know, it's like, it's one of those taboo type of energies here, you know, where most people will look at it like, oh, you're being weak, but that's not the case. Oh, you're, you're being submissive. That's really not the case. Oh, you're just, you're just, that's not the case. There's something about it where it's, um, it's spiritual. It's, um, it's not, it's not worldly. 
and this person with this king of swords with the world card reverse is the world cards coming out twice reverse the world card upright will indicate something is really moved on it's over it's, it's a done dollar you know wrap it up move it along it this is not what's happening here and y'all know me i'll be the first one move on girl move on sir yep fuck this mo uh, yeah, nah, nah. that's i would be the first one to tell y'all that this is not this energy I just it's just somebody is fighting love and it's easier to fight love when you have it wrapped up with anger and hate but it's an illusionary hate it's an illusionary madness and it's like you dropped it queen of wands with the seven of cups you somebody was finally ace of swords honest like you know what i don't hate them i love them hence is why i was able to muster up all that what i thought was hate you can't hate somebody unless you love them <laughs> like when you hate the world it's because you love the world but you feel like the world ain't do you right they didn't re reciprocate the love you can't hate something if you don't love it like 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 you have to there has to be some crazy ass love in order for you to tap into hate There, you can't just hate something and not care. That does not make any sense whatsoever. If you didn't care, there wouldn't be no hate. These are strong, strong emotions, y'all. Like this is, you know, this is where, this is where intelligence kicks in. This is where maturity kicks in. This is where this, um, you know, this is another level. Like it just, you're killing somebody with kindness. You're killing someone with, um, yeah, we have the four swords reverse here. Towers reverse. Hmm. I just know somebody's not necessarily at peace because that's what the Four of Swords is, but it also talks about like thinking and reviewing, um, meditating. I just feel like somebody's not in that energy or they're not able to without you, pretty much. Like somebody can't, they're not at peace without you, but they're still. I mean, I know, but it's just like, you know, people, you know, life, you know, it's psychology. It's just people feel when they have anger, it's kind of like liquid courage type of way. Like when people uh, still hold on to anger, that's like another way of liquid courage. Like that's like some face false um, courage when you, when you hold on to anger. So this is what someone is, but to hold on to anger is because you're really scared and vulnerable. Um, yeah, three of swords. Like I said, somebody is still hurt. They're hurt. Three of swords, empress energy. But it's like they're hurt because they know you're their empress or they know you're their emperor. They don't want to lose you, man. Eight of swords. Like somebody's really trapped in the mind. Look, ten of cups. Like they really are right now because it's like they want to be mad, but they 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 don't. It, they want to be mad, but look, hermit. <laughs> They want to be mad. They want to be hateful because it's like they don't want to be vulnerable. It's like somebody does not. They're, but they're fake mad and they're fake hurt. Like somebody really fucking loves you, yo. <laughs> and that's why it's funny. You know, it's, it's literally if you love something or someone, let it go. And if it comes back, that's how you know. The world card reverse, yo. Somebody's coming back. They didn't even leave. <laughs> yo, someone loves you. Uh, all right, all right. What's the four of wands? <laughs> Look, nine of wands. Nine of wands. That's a mission right there. That's a mission. Somebody's gonna, I don't know why I'm hearing through the fire. Through the middle. Through the fire, Shaka Khan vibes. I'm gonna actually name it that. Through the fire, <laughs> that fire talks about passion. <laughs> that also talks about the heat. Let them do what they gotta do, man. Let them get through it. Cause you had to get through it too. You had to get through just because you was ready to, you know, surrender doesn't mean someone else is ready to surrender. But they can't fight uh planetary transits. Um 
they can't fight destiny. That's what the lovers is. So just, again, just trust in, I'm trying to tell y'all, man, look, queen of swords, <laughs> queen of swords, king of swords. And I said, this is about maturity and this is about leveling up. And this is about, this ain't no child's play here. This is not, oh, you did this. I didn't know. This is literally some maturity energy going on. Some of y'all, the reason why you're able to release the burdens or put down your weapons here, your shields, is because of some type of transit that occurred that you was like, oh, maybe I should take the mature route. You know, maybe it's time for me to be mature. Maybe it's like that type of energy. There's something you, you just, honestly, me personally, I just really trust in everything. I trust God for everything. Okay, these is falling all the way out. Look, I, exactly. As I say, I trust God for everything. High priestess energy. And then you got the two of wands reverse. Two of Swords reverse. Here's the Page of Wands. So this right here is just indicating like you already, you should know. Somebody's going to come out of this. Page of Wands leads into the night. Like, come on. Somebody's definitely coming for your ass because you are their person. They know this. They know this. They know this. They know this. Um, like I mentioned, in someone's reading with the clock, time is ticking. All right. So let them have their little moment, man. Like, let them have their moment i went to the store last night and um i gotta stop going to the damn store because i'd be getting stuff i'm not supposed to be getting and the guy you know ringing it up me and him have like a very i'm not gonna say we have a relationship but we cool right we cool like that he knows when i come through what i need what i'm getting and he already has it ready for me he's just we cool like that right i go up in there i see him high as hell i used to be a wee head so i know the signs i i know the signs I'm like, you high as shit. Why? You, he like, man, let me be great. Let me have my time. Let me just be great. And I'm sitting there laughing. Like, but the fact that he was like, let me be great. Let me be high. Let me, let me do me right now. You know, I feel like that's the energy. Like, let somebody do them right now. Like, they're working on, I see the three of pentacles and I saw the five of cups. Look, five of cups is here. And then here's the emperor in the reverse. Somebody's going to bow down. It's, and it's not even about bowing down, but it's like somebody is like, I mean, you kind of bow down a bit. So, I, and I don't mean to say, cause I know these words can kind of come off as arrogant and condescending and superior. I don't mean it in that way, but the, because you guys are, this, this really is emperor empresses here. Emperor, Empress, it, there is going to be, I have to speak like that, but it's not, it's not like that for y'all. It's, it, this is literally surrendering to each other here, but it's, you got to put up a fight, you know, before there can be peace, there's war. And if you look at it, you see the Knight of Wands and the uh, Queen of Swords, right? Well, look at it, it's clarifying the Four of Wands, so just imagine... You're the queen of swords on top of this horse. And then this is the knight, you know, kind of coming to you while you're on the horse. That's literally what this is. Look, queen of swords, four of wands, you're on the horse. And look at him looking at you, knight of wands. Look at him. This is, this is y'all. This is, this is y'all. And again, you guys are the same. But for you, he off the horse, you know, for you, he's off the horse, you know, he, he putting you on the horse, you know, that's like six of wands energy. That's like putting you on a pedestal type of energy. And only you, only you. Cause again, like I said, y'all clean and king of swords. I, I feel like this is an emperor empress energy. I mean, they both came out, um, the Empress is reversed. Remember, I just showed y'all the Emperor was over. I mean, the Empress was over here reverse. And I remember I was just showing y'all the Emperor was in the reverse finally or whatever. So it's like, y'all are, um, yeah, devil reverse. It's a process. The devil reverse with the Knight of Pentacles. It's just a process right now. Like somebody, you know. I don't know. I'm just confident in this energy. Exactly. Ace of Wands. <laughs> Started with the Ace of Wands and we ended with the Ace of Wands. Like somebody, y'all love each other. You love each other. And um, according to this may happen in October. Um, it, I just feel like it's going to happen by the end of the year. So just continue doing you, boo-boo. 
I'm very confident, y'all, in this. What's the lovers? <laughs> yep, four of wands reverse on top of the lovers. So it's like someone, like you are this person's four of wands and they're they're gonna realize, or I feel like they already realize it, but again, they're, they're still, they're still in seven of swords right now. They're really fighting themselves, all right? Like, I mean, it's just, you know, I ain't gonna keep talking about it. I ain't gonna keep talking about it. I was saying with Cancer's reading, um, I was feeling like, just let it go. Uh, Cause I feel like it's teaching you a lesson on self-love. Um, and then they're, they're learning a lesson on forgiveness, I suppose. Um, I do just let it go and be willing to let it go. Death card, be willing to let it go. And it's it's not gonna go. Um, it's kind of like the book, like I was mentioning in that cancer and reading like, I think it was, I don't know, Joseph or something like that, that was, you know, sacrificed their son, basically killed their son as a sacrifice to God because that's what they felt like God was instructing them to do or God did instruct them to do. And just because they were willing to do it, God was just like, no, keep your son, don't, don't, don't kill the baby, don't, nah. And it was like, God, it was just a test. Like, are you willing to let this go for me on my behalf? Like, do you love me that much? God energy, right? This is what I'm getting, you know? And it, it just on a 3D level, it's just kind of like, if you love someone, let it go. If, if, you know, they come back, that's how you know. That's the vibe. This is not no karmic shit. Cause you know, karmic's be coming back. <laughs> I, you, I, you gotta know the difference, but I'm not here to get into that right now. I am not here to get into that right now, but we do have the three of wands here with the four of wands on top of the lover. So it just, it's, I don't know, this is coming home energy. Someone is, um, <laughs> this is six of pentacles. Yep, lovers. Six of pentacles is the lovers. <laughs> Like some of you want to cry. This is really your person. It really is. I think some of y'all want to cry. Reminds me of the uh, crow call I did. You know, the laugh to keep from crying. I would just laugh. There's no reason for you to cry. I mean, sure to release these energies, or you know, to release, of course. But don't don't cry out of depression and sadness. Cry because you are doing it with the intent of releasing any type of. Um, trauma regarding love, you know, and a lot of times, you know, I could tell you, you know, Chiron and Leo, I know about um, not being loved, uh, Saturn and Aquarius. I know about, you know, being rejected and I know about, you know, coming last, you know, I know about being hurt and hurting, you know, out of that hurt, you know, I, I know these, I'm very, I got a PhD in this shit. Or I will have a PhD after my personal, um, this personal lesson right now. It's just, this is just what it is. If somebody has to follow through two of wands energy and that's pretty much where they're at with it right now. Like they don't, this is not over at all um, on either one of you all parts, but it's a, there has to be an element of letting go of the two of cups, like the karmic bullshit. Like I, I, twin flames have more karmic shit than even karmics within karmic situations. You guys are mirroring each other. That's way more karma than whatever else. So yeah, devil card, as soon as I'm talking about that. So this is what's going on. You got the nine of swords here with the devil it's you know right now it was easy to fight you it's kind of like scapegoat devil energy that you were the scapegoat y'all were playing like allowing each other to be the scapegoat well when one person surrenders and bows down and forgives and loves unconditionally and willing to let that person go that forces it's a mirror it forces the other person to do the same 
um, you know, and um, it just does. Because now they're not looking at you in the mirror anymore. They're looking at themselves because you've, you've, your frequency, you've ascended. So it's like they're no longer looking at you in the mirror anymore because you've let go of the hurt. You let go of the devil energy that was the like the elephant in the middle, the elephant in the room. You let go of that devil on your side. And so if they're still holding on to the devil on their side, you're nowhere to be. You, it's like your image evaporates. And now it's like they're face to face, truly, truly with themselves. Like it's like they can't put the devil, they can't put your face on the devil anymore because you've released the devil or you've healed the devil, right? So now it's like their face is on the devil now. And so they can't, it's like they're being forced to really see like them or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I just know, you know, yeah, King of Wands reverse. Now somebody's in the King of Wands reverse. Mind you, the Queen of Wands was reversed, was she not? Exactly. So now the King of Wands is reversed. This is, you know, eagles are going out now. This is, this is honestly, y'all know what I'm saying here. King and Queen of Swords is here though. <clears throat> Emperor Empress is reversed though. King and King of, Queen and King of Wands is reversed. So this is letting me know that this is the all is mine. So this has to be connected to the Ace of Swords, which is the, the that's the creator. This is like Hierophant energy going on right here. King and Queen of Swords. This is alchemy energy within the mind. It's that Ace of Swords. It's the, like I was showing y'all in the Light Sears deck. This is this. This is essentially what's happening. If you can see, you see the spiral, the staircases. This is going into the subconscious. This is going into your psyche. That's very deep. You that's that's you got to go into that psyche, and you can go into your astrology, uh, Vedic astrology chart, and find out where your psyche placement is. My psyche is in Capricorn, and um, I'm, that's I'm gonna just leave it at that. You know, there's always gonna be sinistry with the lovers card. So, you see all these uh, calculations. You have Mercury here, infinity symbols. This is an alchemy symbol. Um, you have, this is all types of symbol, symbols. Then you have mathematical equations here. Um, this is Aquarius energy at its finest. Math, science, alchemy here, all in the brain, all in the mind. Ace of Swords. You have the Queen and the King of Swords. This is what's happening. Crow, this is divine messages. This is, um, yeah, Five of Wands. It's There's a lot going on up, up, up in there. Look, now here we got the Death card. I don't even know why I'm using this deck. Eight of Wands. Death. Rebirth. <laughs> the process with the Knight of Pentacles, but here's the Three of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. World card. Reverse. <sighs> All right, so... I don't know. Yep, Seven of Cups came out with the King of Swords. It fell on it tight top of it a little bit there. So this King of Swords is still in some type of La La Land or they're in the 12th house currently right now. And uh, the 12th house is the shadow. This is where the shadow work. This is where prison, you know, pr like spiritual prison Eight of Swords is. Look, Eight of Swords is right here. This is where someone is currently right now. So let them, you got to just let them do, you know, do what they got to do. Five of Pentacles is coming out. Um, we have the Nine of Swords reverse. I don't know. You just got to let them do what they got to do. Yep. Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Cups here. Four of 
Queen of Wands is reverse. Hierophant's reverse. Nine of Wands reverse. It's like um, we got the Queen of Cups. I think it's like it's that spiral. It's like it's going deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. And deeper. Like they're going deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. It kind of, it's like, I don't know why it feels like some type of outer body experience or something like that, but it's like something is bringing them deeper. And it's like, I guess it would be like the dark night of the soul. Remember the moon card came out. Um, so this could be like the dark night of the soul here. Um, but I do feel like they're going through the fire. Um, that's definitely alchemy. Um, they're being like, a, what is it? Like refined. Like you think of diamonds. Um, diamonds can uh, withstand a lot of heat. They can certainly withstand a lot of heat. And I think um, it, that's probably why I'm like extremely drawn to that fire pit at my dad's mansion. Because it, it's like, it's not wood, it's glass. It's Or I think glass diamonds it can withstand a lot of heat, but it's glass that the fire is beaming off of, like in that pit. I don't know what, and then I don't know, yeah, let it burn. Something is, yeah, let it burn. Ace of Wands, let it burn. Hmm. You gotta let it burn. Uh, what is that? Usher vibes. You know? Yeah, and then remember my tea, my stove. Wow. Ha, 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 Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Not enough. You got frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, and jealousy. Let it burn. Let it burn. Gotta let it burn. Abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. We have healthy choices coming now. I think that Virgo had the healthy choices as well. Making healthy choices in love and in life, self-love, self-care, and being happier. I think that that's what you, that's where you need to be at. Like I was saying in the beginning of this reading, I was just I'm just so appreciative for the weather. Um, it's just beautiful outside. It just it feels amazing. It just feels. It smells. It looks amazing. You know, I went to the grocery store, got me a little breakfast going, some oatmeal, something simple, right? But it, it just, to me, it's everything. Like I just, I you know, the simple things for me make me very happy. Like so, just some oatmeal, some eggs, some tea, some honey, some grapes. I was pissed though because they're seed. They got seeds in the grapes. I don't, I don't like that. I didn't read the package properly. I didn't read the package properly. Uh, that's probably the only thing that had a damper on my day <laughs> you know buying some grapes with seeds in them that that just really blew my you know blew me there um but regardless you know I'm you know happy I was happy you know I'm just happy with my little tea I'm about to sip on you know my dogs is over there sunbathing and stuff you know getting hair everywhere I feel motivated to work today. Like I just, I want to be productive. Uh, I was, I woke up immediately, started reading. I didn't, you know, allow myself to be distracted with whatever, whatever. I don't know. It's just, it's just a very beautiful. Day. It's just a very beautiful day. You know, I, you know, I took joy in seeing my dogs do zoomies at the park. You know. <laughs> Just seeing them happy too, like it just, it's the small things, all right? So yeah, let them do what they gotta do. Let Just let them do what they gotta do. It's all right, you're gonna be all right. You're gonna be all right, yeah, talking, you know, that's what they fighting over here, I'm done. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> Interested, conversing more, awaited messages, arise, text call, email, hovering here. We got self-indulgent, so <sighs> focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. 
these kind of, I think the talking came out reverse, but I feel like the self-indulgence card came out reverse here as well. So it's, um, I don't know. I think this is twofold. It's definitely twofold. I mean, you be talking to yourself. Oh my gosh. No, you know what? It doesn't matter. <laughs> No, I think it meant something. So this older man be walking around the neighborhood. <laughs> I don't know what he got going on in his mind, but he was talking to himself. And I talked to myself, so I don't, I'm not really coming at him for that. But it was like, yo, the man was like arguing with himself, yo. And then it got worse. It escalated. <laughs> it escalated. And he was like, then the finger started going up. Mother, <clears throat> I'm like, oh, Oh no, don't do it to him, my man. What what they done do in your head? What they done do? He, <clears throat> I'm like, oh no, 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 no. He was tight. He was pissed. Whoever, whoever was going, what was that? Whatever was going on in his head, he was he was fed up. He was, he had enough. He was tired. Like, oh my goodness. I don't know. It just reminds me of that with the uh, talking and the self-indulgence. Yeah, the ex. Break up, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, and abandonment here. And then we got wedding rings right here, reverse. So you just got to let them do what they got to do here. I'm not saying wait on nobody. Waiting on the world to change. I'm not saying that at all. We don't wait on anybody here. Whether they, you know, if they ever do catch, if they ever, then that's great. If not, that's not something you need to be waiting on at all. Again, I mentioned this already. You're going to have to let it go, be willing to let it go and have that high priestess faith that, you know, if this is really your twin and if you were strong enough to, if you were strong enough to release the, um, basically drop your weapons in the middle of a war and you were strong enough and brave enough and trusted that whatever would happen would happen like whether it was time for you to be you know for this person to take you out you know or them to bow down like it's it's that to me they're gonna have to do the same thing and if they're not able to do that then that just shows more about them because they're no longer you're no longer the scapegoat for them um, they're no longer the scapegoat for you. So it's, you're not really mirroring each other anymore. At this point, they're, they're looking at themselves. And if they can't, if they're going to lose against themselves, then that's just what it is. You, you know, that's what goes on with twin flame dynamics. It's not just, this is what goes on with twin flame dynamics. And that's why two of cups holds no place here. This is exactly why. So we do have workaholic main priorities. Some of you, they may be taking this approach or maybe you are. Like I was saying personally, I just, I feel like I'm in a good mood to work. But that's also because my Saturn is um, trining my Mercury placement. So Mercury is trining Saturn right now. So I just, I'm feeling real mature these days. Like I want to work. I'm, you know, I, I, I just want to be productive right now. So that's just an astrology thing, but you know. It just depends, but we got workaholic here. We also have, they want you. That's my chair, y'all. They want you. We got karmic situation here, karmic flame situation. Like I said, they could be doing with a karmic, but I do feel like twin flames have karma from past lives that are not um, dealt with. That's why they're back in this so this 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 is this lifetime with a soul contract because there's still some karma that has to be worked out there. Uh, I would also look to uh, astrology if you guys have retrograded planets in your chart. That's where it's going down in the DMs. You know, this kind of makes me look at karmic situations differently. I don't even think that they have. I don't even, I can't say that karmic situations are karmic anymore. I feel like twin flame dynamics are karmic. That was a new, like that was a download just now, literally. And I'm looking at the pond, the water's glistening. So that's definitely a, like a hydromancy thing for me right now that I'm tapping into. 
I don't think karmic how people believe that two of cups and I know I I'm like as of yesterday I was speaking like that, you know, two of cups is karmic. I don't think that's the case. Just like I was saying that you can't hate something or someone without there being love present. I don't think there can be a karmic situation without there being a twin flame present. So when people exert their free will and want to deal with who they want to deal with, I think that that's just what it is. There's It's free will. There's no strings attached there. Just That's just you... That's very interesting. Yeah, it just burp. Excuse me. I think that's confirmation. Yeah, telepathic love is right at the bottom. We got save money here. Could be doing a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. It says, uh, talking to the homies about you, barbershop talk. We also have vacation here as well. So I feel like they may be trying to get um, advice from their homies. <laughs> we have couples therapy here, but we do have alpha energy in the reverse. So someone is definitely they're being vulnerable to someone cancer scorpio pisces that would definitely explain the telepathic love and then i talked about hydromancy me looking at the water and me getting different downloads and shit this was a very deep ass reading here yeah you've met your twin flame you've met your twin flame what's underneath that I don't know. Hmm. Very interesting. 